<clears throat> hey, Kevin, Jeff, confrontational nonconformance. Lurking is cool. Just pop out if you can win the trivia. Hope you all had a great weekend. Man, it was so cold over this weekend. I just came in from with Lily. It's not that bad out there. I made it on a few people's streams this weekend. Some longer than others. I hate coming there late. Trying to put a little pies back together here. Penny Dog, how are you doing? I'm so sorry I missed you. I really enjoy your streams. Nick Mulner, my favorite Eskimo. Been so sick. Not been on much. Oh, man, that's horrible. Yeah, my son, he got, uh, he got pretty sick. One, two, three, four. I think whoever wins this will like it. You're welcome, Penny Dog. If y'all don't know Penny Dog, she does a live half dollar hunt with her friend Silver Turd or Treasure Turd on Saturdays at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. They're so much fun. The two ladies get along very well. There's a lot of comic relief in in store. It's just a good time. Oh. I got to see if I can make it to the king and queen. I got your coins right here. I just got up too late to go out. But if, hey, this trucker's life, how are you doing? I hope you're having a great new year. Ronnie, I'm going to try to get done this stream enough so I can go turn in the coins and everything, and then I will mail it then. Still in Fort Stockton, Texas. Gibby's treasure. How are you doing, Gibby? We're all doing good here. Actually, we got 10 here. Let's rip this box open and get slapped in the face. That's cool. Mr. Doughboy, what's up? A man from the Great White North. Mr. Doughboy posted a couple cool videos. One about this uh, roadside stream. That looks absolutely beautiful. And then, hey, Susan Lee. Hello, hello. And then he did another one about the waterfall. 
but the waterfall was kind of frozen. This box is tough. There must be some silver in it. Not on that side. Uh, no enders. Oh, I bet it is. Hey, Mike Wolf. How are you doing? Hey, Andrew Cooper. Uh, King and Queen, if it's just for the quarter, I wouldn't do tracking. But if you got all the other stuff from our other trade in there, yeah, why not? Uh, it's going okay. No enders, but... We're hoping we can find something. Yeah. Who knows what's happening on the channel on February 4th? Oh, no answers yet. I guess the word has not gotten out too quick. Hey, Coin Dragon. Cavern Hubbard got part, part of it right. I'm going to tell you, Penny Dog. Well, number one, it's my birthday. So we're going to have a little, like, birthday party. I don't know, uh, Mike. Hey, oh, where the hell do these people come from, Brian? It went the damn lawnmower fixed in the middle of winter. I guess it keeps you busy, though. Mr. Doughboy got it. He got the other half. Well, number one, February 4th which is on a Tuesday in February, is my birthday. So we will be having a birthday celebration. And part of that celebration, we are going to be giving away an 1891 Carson City Morgan Silver Dollar. Now, how many of you all have a Carson City silver dollar? You don't have to brand. <laughs> you don't have to guess, Brian Hooper. I know you do. <laughs> and it ain't going to be what one. But you got to be here to win it. So mark it down. Shout it out. Let everybody know, because where else can you go and win a Carson City Silver Dollar for just answering a coin-related trivia question? Oh, man, sorry to hear that, Mike. I hope you feel better. Nothing worse than a damn headache. Uh. <sighs> 
You have one? Hey, Alistair, how are you doing? Hey, Silver Smokestacks, how are you doing? Man, I got to look warm. It's cold out here. It ain't as bad as yesterday. Do good. About to run down and get the rest of my mail in five minutes. The rest of it. So remember, spread the word. February 4th, Bill J's birthday party. Where we'll be giving away a Carson City Morgan dollar. Which I think is ultimate. Wow, Nick. I got there pretty early. Oh. Hey, RNC, how you doing? Was that worth the trade, Coin Dragon? Oh, okay. Kitty cat, hello. How are things doing for you this good day? Or I guess evening for you. Come on, Silver, start popping out. Yeah, let me rub the horseshoe toilet seat you. Lord have mercy. Hey, Mia's coins. I said it right. How are you doing, Miss Mia? We have not found anything. Uh, 
I'm very good. Good. Oh, yeah. You really need to catch up on the likes. Hit that like button, everybody. Everybody. Damn, it's the second straight roll. I dropped some. Opala. Yeah, kind of hard to be lurking when people not hitting the like button. Come on, everybody. For those of you that just got in, I was just telling everybody, Bill J's birthday bash will be on February 4th. And the main event for that will be the giving away of an 1891 Carson City Morgan Silver Dollar. So make you sure you mark your calendars. Make sure you uh, spread the word out in other streams if they'll let you. Or if you live stream, make sure you tell everybody. That's courtesy of Ramon Juan. That's so awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so make sure you uh, mark your calendar. Make sure you be here. It's on a Tuesday. And unless we have a blizzard, which we have had in February... Yeah, I love when I got stuff coming in the mail. And also, be on the lookout this Wednesday for Silver Giveaways. I think they're coming back starting this Wednesday doing uh, coin roll hunts. So if you're not friends with Silver Giveaways, get on over there and subscribe to them, watch a video and leave a comment, and then click the bell. And then you'll be able to... Okay, Coin Dragon. Oh yeah, Coin Dragon. I uh I got a nineteen thirty Woody coming in the mail. Do you need that one? My wife is 
going in for a big surgery tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be on. Oh, uh, well, yeah, you take care of your, uh, you take care of your uh, family first, Mr. Doughboy. Tell Cindy we wish her all the best. <laughs> oh, you already got one? Oh, that's cool. I'll keep it. It's a, I don't really have a Woody. Yeah. Her name is Cindy Maya. Mia. Kanan, I think the jokes are in my box. El Crapio. Hey, Jackie Lopes or Lopez. Don't know which one, but welcome to the stream. So nice to see you. We are still looking for our first silver. Oh, that sucks, Alistair. Especially when you're expecting it and they don't come. Then you got that anxiety for the next day. I'm a girl from Brazil. Cool, Jackie. I'm a guy from Maryland. Nice to meet you, too. This channel, uh, I go buy, I buy a box of American half dollars for $500, and I look for it, or I look in for uh, silver coins. And then we do Okay, thank you, Susan. And then at the end of the show, uh we do a little giveaway, give away some coins. Today we have a foreign coin in the mix. A uh, Panamanian Balboa. So do you collect coins, uh, Jackie? In Brazil, no, there's about coins. Oh, 
Come on, Silver. Twenty four. Oh, cool, Ronnie. Thank you. Yeah, you should be get. You should be getting my trade part anytime soon. And then this other one, I'm gonna mail today or tomorrow. Thanks for the awesome trade. Actually, maybe you already said you got my part. I don't know. Whatever it is. Yeah, uh, King and Queen, Joe Durbin, um, the last auction he, he had, which was Thursday or Friday night, he had uh, like three or four different prestige sets in the auction. So, Jeff Dunn, what, did you win a bunch of stuff in auction? Brian Hooper's kind of working and lurking. So if he doesn't answer you right away, just be patient. Yeah. Oh, you won seven W quarters yesterday. Awesome, Jeff. And my rolls were done. <laughs> Yeah, building the carburetor. If you want to see uh, pictures of the new uh, coins, check out Ken Peavy's video on the 2020 uh, version of the state quarters. Victoria Roman Carter, hello, young lady. We have been skunked so far, Victoria. Hopefully you'll be the bearer of good luck.
Can't wait for the bat quarter. Does that one look ridiculous or what? That's the last one. I believe. Yeah, a lot of them look the same. Like the girl planting the uh, the girl planting the little twig. That looks like the back of one of the Susan B. Anthony or uh, the Sacagawea saying. Oh, this is a six pack this year. John Chum, no, unfortunately, we are not. Absolutely horrible. <clears throat> I don't know. I heard somebody in here suggest that they do uh, redo the nickels and the design of the war nickels with the big dates, the big mint marks above the Monticello. Now, I think that would be totally cool to reissue those. But I'm just an opinion. And I don't know how to get it to anybody in the mint that would make a difference. <laughs> but don't y'all think that would be cool to have war nickels floating around again? I would definitely be going for all those things. Carrie and Terry, how you doing? Well, apparently 2021, they're going to redesign the American Silver Eagle. Redesign the reverse. Wow, Jeff, that's really quick. I wonder if there's going to be W's. John Salisbury, how are you doing, my friend? I hope you're not working hard. Nick Muller, you know you got voted the sexiest man's voice on uh, YouTube. All the ladies got together and took a poll, and you were the winner. Ah, oh, that's good.
Uh, I don't know whose channel it was. Oh, yeah. The sexiest voice on YouTube. Oh, with Bowie problems. Well, Nick Mona's got enough videos up there. You should be able to... Uh... You should be able to find a good one of Mr. Sexy. Yeah, there's some new people come in here. We're going to have a special day on February 4th, 2020. It's a Tuesday. In addition to being my birthday, it's also 1891. Carson City Morgan Silver Dollar Giveaway Day. That coin will be given away via some type of coin trivia. No Snapple. No. Nothing like that. You got to know your coins. So everybody should practice reading up on your red book. And if you all can share this on your channel or if you're in somebody else's live chat or something and they'll let you uh, advertise it, I would really appreciate it. We'd like to shoot for 100 likes before we give that sucker away. Now, it's just going to be regular trivia today. Oh, Jackie, you'll love my Lily if she decides to come up on the screen. So I, I gave you all a little mission to spread the word out about the Carson City Dollar Giveaway on Bill J's Birthday Bash. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you where to read. But we are definitely going to be pulling it out of the 2020 Red Book. Hey, Johnny Ray, how are you? No, no. No, not for the Carson City. Carson City, I want to do 
Uh, coin trivia giveaway. Because I'd like somebody to win that has a little bit of a foundation in coin collecting to appreciate what it is that they actually won. I mean, Carson Cities are the elite of the fleet. What time is it in Brazil, Jackie? I think just another average stacker. Probably about 318. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool, Jackie. You talking to me, king and queen? I'm going to check. Yeah, Ronnie, I got your uh I got the email, the tracking number and everything. That's pretty cool that you didn't take it to the bank already. Save yourself some moolah. Today is Monday and it's supposed to be Madding's uh, box battle with Miss Matting. Have not heard from him. Do not know whether he's going to be on. I'm in a state called Maryland in the United States of America. We're right near uh, our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., and our state capital, Annapolis, Maryland. All right. Got 32 people in here. Hey, Fred Carson, how are you doing? We're still digging for silver. And I keep dropping halves on the ground.
Hey, George Luna, how are you doing? Oh, Justin Prate, how are you doing? Nathan, how are you? Thank you. Two, four, six, seven rolls left. Hey, you know, if we don't find it today, there's always a chance we'll follow it, find it tomorrow. In June, I will go from Las Vegas on vacation. Oh, wow. Take a bunch of money. <laughs> yes, it is. I was there once, but that was before they uh, rebuilt everything. That was when the biggest and coolest casinos there were Caesar's Palace and Circus Circus. I think they're both there, but they are way down on the entertainment list now. Lily, are you in here? Lily, come here. Look. Look what they got. Come on. I'm going to try to get Lily up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come over here. Can y'all see her? Yeah, they're all looking at you on TV. Oh, shut the big yawn. Say, yeah, I'm sleeping. What the hell did you wake me up for? Oh, Lil, here. Here, here's your cookie. Lily. Come on. She's such a good girl. Yes, you're such a good girl. Everybody's watching you chew your treat. Was that yummy? You going back to night night? You going in the big bed? Okay. No, you can go to the big bed. I love getting her on TV. She is so beautiful. Me and my wife took her to the dog park Saturday and Sunday, but yesterday she just ran so hard. There's only like five dogs there. And they all would just ran around like a crazy group. Well, we had to go to the grocery store still. So we came back home and we dropped Lily off. And uh, so apparently she just slept on the couch. And then when we got home. Uh, her harness was halfway off and halfway on. Hey, Polly Nichols, how you doing? And our daughter said, what's wrong with Lily's collar? I said, what do you mean? She goes, I can't get it off. I said, well, you just take it and you pull it off. She goes, she was laying on it and she wouldn't wake up. 
<laughs> she was so damn tired, she just fell asleep and didn't even take her harness off. Because we just have a regular collar for her. But when we go there, we put the harness on her because she won't slip out in case we have to grab her for many maniac things. But I thought that was a pretty funny story. I didn't know she was behind me. I would have got her on earlier. She usually makes an appearance uh, once every day or so. Every other day, rather. She was a rescue. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, and she's so happy to be a part of this family. You can just tell. Yeah, we we try to take her everywhere we can. She's got a little... Uh, we got a seatbelt for her. See you soon. Okay, good job. You are so friendly. Well, thank you, Jackie Lopez. Come back anytime you want. I try to do this every day. Unless I got some kind of medical stuff. But then I try to notify everybody beforehand. Oh, yeah. She sure is, cutie cat. And uh, the story I was going to say is uh, we got a seatbelt for her. It hooks from seat to seat on the uh, backrest cushions. And then it comes out and has a small leash. And you just hook it on to her. Uh, her harness, and then the other one, we hook her regular uh, leash to her collar, and I hold on to that because one of the first times we took her for a ride, she jumped out the window. Thank God we were just turning around in this man's driveway. But she saw that man, and like wanted to jump right in his hands. <laughs> Let me get these ones I lost. But anyway, the story I was going to say is... uh. She likes to ride with the window down and her nose sticking out. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if you all remember that Geico commercial with the pig riding out the window, holding those uh, pinwheel fans going, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> that reminds me so much of Lily. Yeah, she loves riding with the window down.
Penny's dog. I just uh, get one a day. And then either go back in the afternoon and swap it out for the next day or do it the next morning. I don't have enough money to get multiple boxes. I'm working like with a $600 bird budget. So that's 500 for my box. No, my halves go to my credit union. Uh, they have a coin counter machine that doesn't cost anything for uh, members to use. So I just take them and dump them in there. Every other day, the bag gets full and has to be emptied. But. Yeah, who the hell's giving me a thumbs down? Damn it. Yeah, and then I had I had uh Oh yeah. It's mainly this one lady MJ that runs the the machine and she's been nice to me forever and you know, I get them, like for Christmas, I got all the tellers uh, Outback Steakhouse gift cards. And then periodically through the year, uh, I get them um, Baskin Robbins or Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know what exactly you call it. I get them uh, those gift cards. And the girls at the credit union where I dump, they love that because right next door to them is the uh, Baskin Robbins or Dunkin' Donuts, I, whatever one it is. So it's just kind of cool. Oh, well, that really blows. You bring them donuts and coffee and then they're a bunch of jerks. Do you, Penny Dog, do you have to uh, rewrap them? So you take them back like full rolls, or can you just dump them in a box like I do? Thank you, Carrie and Terry. Yeah, I like to. Uh, I like to keep them happy. <laughs> that sounds funny. Go ahead, Wooster. Man, them them ladies at my credit union, they love those uh, specialized coffees. So I, I only get them like a $15 car like once every couple months. Call him Wee Man for the next three months. That's a good one, Mr. Doughboy. Well, let me dig out. Today is a Snapple giveaway. I got the prize already. If 
spank me mean after you next to them. Take some decaf. <laughs> What is de does decaf take uh taste different or something? I'm not a coffee drinker, so I don't know. Hmm. Wow. Hold on. Yeah. No, uh, we don't go to those. Thank you. Bye. Nope. 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 All right, here we go. Now I didn't wipe the slate clean, Mr. Bill 457. I did learn that I got to quit reading the question because somebody have software. That can just take my voice and play it into their thing to get an answer. No, almost got me.
Okay, only one answer per person. Oh, and here's what we're playing for. Courtesy of Silver Giveaways, we got a 1967. Uh, forty percent Kennedy half from Ramon Juan. We got a nineteen thirty seven D Mercury dime again from Ramon Juan. We got a nineteen oh seven V nickel from Bill J. We got a 2010 Convento de la Concepcion Panama Vio. I don't know what that is. And then from Michael Kittle's Rare Coins, a 1958D. B U Nickel. Hey, Mark McAvoy. Oh. Nick Muller, it looks like you're good to go.
Okay, here we go. Now, what was that just a three coin package, Nick? And th those were just the special ones for Christmas. You're good to go. All right, everybody. I'm not going to read this out. I'm going to put it out there. And you get one guess per person. No, I didn't lick the, the snaffle cap. Here you go. Okay, we got a winner. The first one to type it, Mrs. Penny Dog. I don't know if she's won before. She's just started coming to the stream. Yeah, Penny Dog, you're good to go. No, the correct answer was the average person spends two weeks over his or her lifetime waiting for a traffic light to change. So way to go, Penny Dog. You won the coins that I just shouted out. But now I have uh, stickers. Let me make sure you still hear Penny. Penny Dog, you still, there's part two. You got to pick a sticker. Penny Dog, do you have my sticker? Bill J version two. Yeah, I'll go over the stickers. I don't think you have one. All right, I'm going to send one for you and one for Treasure Turd. Now we have all these stickers to go through. You get to pick two, except for the silver giveaways. If you pick silver giveaways, you get one of each. And I'll start off with our buddy's silver giveaways. Way too many Snapaholics. But Penny Dog, I'm going to show you silver giveaways first. This is silver giveaways. It says, get you some. That's uh, David Lee's Harley called the panty dropper now if you get that you also get one of their dream catcher stickers that was designed by Susie's son so if you want those a pair of those they only count as one hey Brian Hooper penny dog won a giveaway And then we got Nick Mulner's postcard of the flags and the bell tire at the sunset. Then we got just another average stacker. This is his old sticker. He's got new ones coming in. Then we got Brian's World and Mechanic. Our crazy mad mad mod 
Mr. Doughboy356. And then we got Cajun Coin Hunter. He's down there from Louisiana. And then we got the lovely Miss Paula Bloom. She hasn't been in action much. She's got stuff going on. Then we got the lovely Mia's Coins. Keep stacking silver. And then we got the Madman from the Desert. Bradley Height with those fiery skeleton eyes. Uh, I'm not even near done, uh, Penny Dog. And then we got the Michigan fan herself, Miss Cherie Ward. Another one of our mad mods, it's Madding himself. Look for him. Hey, Les Wiley. Check for Madding to be going live around 7.30 tonight, box battling Mrs. Madding. We don't, he's been on a heavy work schedule and hasn't been able to make it. And then we got the one and only Michael Kittle's Rare Coins. That's a Lincoln Penny with his logo around the side. And then we got Mr. Detectorus. If you look closely, that is a pop top made into a little man with this metal detector and the shovel. Pretty cool. And then we got Mama Lou's Coins. And then we got the new ones from Mr. Silver Streak. It says coins, bullion, and relics. All right, we got about three more, uh, Penny Dog. Then we got coin snobs. These two are like... I don't know, they, they look like old beer guy advertisements. And then we got the North Carolina badass. Mr. Brian Hooper, metal detecting, coin collecting, and horsepower. And then we got... Mr. Scrapping, Hoardering, Tinkering, Fun. And what seems to be the hottest sticker on YouTube, the one and only Victoria Roman Carter with Tweety guarding her silver stack. All right, bye, Nick. Yeah, I'm going to kind of go after... Uh, Penny Dog picks out what she wants. I got two left, Mr. Doughboy. So, yeah, I could use, you know, a few more. Don't worry about hurting anybody's feelings or anything, Penny Dog. I get people sending me in their stickers so much that it changes all the time. Because where else can you get a real nice plug about your channel than right here? 
I knew it was going to be a Victoria. Victoria has already sent me two huge batches. We're going to have to have a special donation stream so we can all get more. And Mr. Detectorist is just so awesome. The more you look at the flip top, the more you find, you'll find the sunglasses and then the earphones for metal detecting. X marks the spot. All right, and then I'm sending you two of mine, one for you to give to your friend, Treasure Turd. Awesome. Now, Penny Dog, you can't win for 30 days. Except for if there's any special giveaways, which I think there will be. But just because you can't win for 30 days doesn't mean you can't drop by. Okay, do you got my email, Penny Dog? Oh, okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Doughboy. Yeah, Dime Digger's sending me more, so I'm going to replenish on them. Bradley just replenished me. <laughs> okay, Penny Dog, I was wondering if you had my email. There you go. Well, everybody's here. Go ahead and sub them. Okay, Susan Lee, you tell Cindy we hope she gets well. If y'all don't know, Cindy is Mr. Doughboy's uh, wife who's got surgery coming up tomorrow. All right, everybody, I'm going to be getting off of here soon after I put these stickers away, but try to, uh, try to, uh, promote the birthday stream with the Carson City giveaway. Don't tell them anything about how it's going to be given away. That'll be up to you guys whether you want to tell them or not. But I think if you just tell them about the giveaway, that's good enough. And then you all will already know that it's going to be uh, Red Book Trivia. Plus, there's going to be some more of those small ones like Beth and uh, Nick Mulliner and Bill 457 one. Uh. Oh, okay. Yes. It's on a Tuesday. It'll be during the day, so most of the people that are here during the day, we want to get a lot of people in there, but I want, hey, new Marshall in town. I love your stickers. Man, I would love to have some.
I give them away every day and people really like them. And I've seen yours in so many other streams and I'm like, oh, they're so awesome. Yeah, I got that precious thing in here. I don't know if it's going to show up, but it's an 1891. Come on, show up, CC. I can't see the CC. But we're giving that away. Thank you so much, uh, new marshal in town. You got some slick looking uh, channel stickers, man. That skeleton busting caps out is just badass. And thank you for dropping back by the stream. I know you come in here for a while yeah penny dog the chat kind of slows once we do with a giveaway but there's still a lot of people that stay here i'll usually tape the coins down onto one of my little plastic things and i don't think hey there's my buddy ramon Oh, I have no idea. I can't see thumbs down on my side. But you know what? It's just somebody that's jealous of what we got here. We got skunked again. Well, actually, I think last Friday we got three silvers. Oh, Imperium. I don't try to give them away. I want everybody to win. It's really cool when first timers win. Like Penny Dog, I think it's only like the third or fourth time she's been here, but yeah, she got a nice little sack, got a couple silvers, and uh. Got some nice little stickers. Is Victoria leaving? So, Penny Dog, this is how your envelope's going to come. The coins are going to be inside here, and that'll be taped shut, and then it'll go into the envelope, and that will be taped entirely in tape. 
So, Penny Dog, how long have you and uh, Treasure Turd been streaming? Got to move around, sir. Two will get them next. Though we'll get them next time. Oh, really? He seemed very knowledgeable. Oh, I know. I wish I could make it, but... When my wife wakes me up, then I can make it. <laughs> But then she usually wants to get our day started by doing something. But I just need to remember that you're on. And while I'm eating breakfast and stuff like that, I can watch it interact for a little bit. All right. Good luck tomorrow, Mr. Doughboy. Uh, DMC, <laughs> remember February 4th, you may be the lucky one. Penny Dog, did you see what Victoria wrote up above there? <laughs> Who won today? Right, she's right above you, Ramon. Ramon won. Penny Dog was the lucky winner. She's a very nice lady, uh, Ramon. I found her, uh, I stumbled onto her stream a while ago and then marked it as saved. She does uh, coin roll hunting on um, Saturdays at 11 o'clock Eastern time. So I guess that would be 8 o'clock in the morning for you. I've been up since 2 a.m. Oh, man. I didn't stop by anybody's stream, Bill. I told you. The wife wanted to go out.
Ah, uh, the tape's taping to the table. So, Penny Dog, you got two pieces of silver, a V nickel, a 2010 Balboa that's got a building on it instead of uh, instead of Balboa, and you got a beautiful 58 D B U. Lincoln Wheat Set, courtesy of Michael Kittle Rare Coins. And Ramon, Ramon Juan donated the V-Nickel and the Merc Dime. The prizes are always changing. It all depends on how much silver I find. It all depends on what kind of coins we got and who they're from. So everything that remains the same is pretty much everybody that is really cool keeps coming to the channel. Brian Hooper's here, but uh he was working on a carburetor. Brian Hooper's another huge supporter of the channel. He's been supporting the channel the most. And then we got... Uh, Then we got Mr. Ramon Juan, who's really, he's donated such high quality stuff. He's the one that donated the Carson City. Uh, he said there's another special coin en route. That we are going to have another big giveaway with. I think he's sending a gift for Lily and my wife. Can't wait to see that. And can't wait to see this tremendous gift. We may be giving uh, that one out before February 4th. Courteous courtesy. Brian Hoover, you have a call on the white courtesy. <laughs> Miss America's not here, but she is so on cloud nine for getting that promotion. I'm so, so proud of her. Empyrean label, I loved both of them. Uh, the only thing is I kind of, I kind of still like it having my name and email address in the middle or have it raised up like Michael Kittles is and then have these other words. And I really loved that 1853. I think that 1853 would make an awesome background. Linda Wallace just got home. Okay, Ramon, I'll catch up with you. Uh, Matting's supposed to stream maybe tonight. 
If he does, I was going to try to get there. Hopefully, I'll see you there. And thank you so much for everybody that's coming in here. Today was a six, so we had a skunk. But then we also had Penny Dog. <sighs> you too, Ramon. Ah, it's still at 40. Plus, I really got to kind of get going. <laughs> hey, Omega Silver, how are you doing? The festivities are winding down. But we had a great stream. Penny Dog won the giveaway. And now she's in jail. <laughs> but hopefully she'll still come support the channel. I'm going to slide away so I can get Miss Penny Dog's address on this envelope. Well, maybe I'm not. Y'all still there? Oh, you're welcome, cutie cat. You're always welcome here. I don't think we're going to make 50 likes. I'm going to have to end this thing. But I need Penny Dog to send me her address. 
because I want to go switch out these coins. Here, penny dog, penny dog, penny dog. <laughs> Forty-five. Thank you, Victoria. That was so nice of you. That's all right, Kanan. Yeah, I think you're right, Victoria. I got to end this before 50 so I can go do my coins. <laughs> oh, they're all coming in here. Hey, Draco. Hey, Stephen Jones. Premier Hell. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, if y'all run across Penny Dog, tell her to send me her address. Hey, Silver Finder. I got to get off of here so I can make it back to the bank. Oh, shit. It's 325. Oh, thank you, cutie cat. I don't even have her email. All right, I got to go. It's quarter after three. 20 after three. Bye. I love you. Talk to you all later.